Michelle. Welcome back, family. Welcome to our channel, Life Stuff TV, where we talk about life stuff. I'm your girl, T. And I'm B. And today we are going to talk about finances. Yes, mm -hmm. we are going to be talking about how to approach financial issues within a marriage or within a relationship. So as we all know, money could be a big problem in a relationship. Actually, money is one of the most common reasons why relationships or marriages split up because they just can't get that money thing right. Yeah. And just take note that we are not marital counsels or uh, therapists or anything like that. We are just bringing you our true life stories and hopes that it will help other couples or other uh, marriages to be as healthy as possible. Because that's what we want to do. We want to have a healthy marriage. And um, so with us. We just came up with an agreement with who we thought is the most, what, responsible or the yeah, most... I uh, say, um, who's, who saves. has the most, well, well, who's more knowledgeable with money, who understands money better. I mean, you know, I know money, but, you know, T handles it better. She understands it a little better being that, you know, she's multifaceted, she's a entrepreneur so she deals with you know money a lot finances and stuff taking care of the you know household and you know not squandering but not being you know tight either where we don't have fun either but she's just better with it well thank you yeah, most definitely it's the All truth right so that's how we kind of approach that issue as us as a couple or as a, a married couple um but in relationships, I think one of the most important things is to discuss the finances. Discuss what the finances are. Discuss who is the one who can make sure that the bills get paid and that the money is being distributed how it should be so that everything is taken care of. Um, and I think Basically, coming to one another and talking about um, purchases, meaning, you know, me going out and just making a big purchase, like maybe buying a car or spending um, a lot of money on some jewelry or something without discussing it with my partner or with my husband first, would be um, one of the do not do's. One of the things that you don't want to do because that can lead to a big confrontation. So I think discussing the finances and discussing purchases before um, with the with your partner before just <laughs> actually going out and doing it because that could be a big issue. You know, you just go out and go buy a car and you come home or you know, even just some expensive perfume or a bag, shoes or whatever it may be and you come home and you've spent this amount of money without talking to your partner first and then you may have other bills or something else may have more important maybe and came up That's and right. the money is already gone because you spent it and you felt like hey I didn't need to talk to him about it but when you're in a relationship or a marriage you're a team so you have to work together and certain things just need to be discussed first yeah just like T was saying life be life and things pop up unexpectedly for instance you know um, we were riding on the freeway and the rock hit the windshield. Right. Now, let's say we had a little money put to the side 
for in case something like that happens. But she went and took the money and purchased something else without, you know, consulting with me or, and, you know, and the money just disappeared or whatever and we didn't talk about it. So now the windshield is cracked. We don't have no money to fix it and we're, you know, we're in a bind now because she made a decision to do something without consulting you with me because we have prior plans for that money. Right. I think that's um, exactly what I was trying to say. Yeah, exactly. Just, you know, discussing it with one another first. So, definitely discussing financial issues first. Um, I think another important thing to approaching finances in a relationship is sometimes you may need to get professional help. Sometimes it's just uh, you can't come to an agreement. Both parties feel like they both are responsible with money. No one can be, uh, I guess, over the other one as far as making sure that things get done. So you may need to seek some professional help to help guide you through those issues yeah. and to make sure that those issues are um, resolved healthy most in a healthy way. Most definitely because, you know, um, money for me, like, you know, I understand money, I understand the importance of it, but I don't let that be the end all be all. I know that certain things I I can't allow myself to have money in my pocket because I'll probably misappropriate it or something like I'll probably buy some junk food or something that I know I'm supposed to be eating it or whatever. But oh, um, <laughs> right. for sure. He's a junk food eater for sure. Yeah, but money isn't meant to be controlling. You know, most people like T was saying, you know, one feels as if you know, they have more money than the other, then they have control and can call the shots over the next person and stuff like that. And I don't think that's fair. As a matter of fact, I'm the type of person that believes this. If you're thinking about something like that, then your relationship is already ruined <laughs> because you're already going off into it thinking that you have to have something up on somebody in case something may happen in terms of, you know, an argument or, you know, we may have to divorce or split up and things like that. So that's important, too, to understand that money is not uh, a control object or a controlling object, you know what I mean? But you do have to understand, you know, the importance of money and who understands money better. My wife understands it way better than me, you know what I mean? Like I said, she, 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 she you know, it's currency. She treats it as currency. Most people think money is to be saved, which some is, but you also have to spend money and stuff like that in order to get money as well. Yeah, you know? That's true. So I believe this about money. You know what I mean? The first thing you should do is explore your options with the money. You know what I mean? Meaning what could it do for you if you don't understand money or no money. I mean, you know, seek, you know, a financial advisor or a financial planner to help you understand your money. You know what I mean? So maximize your options. Number two, cut all your losses to secure your capital. That's all I can say about money. Yeah, that's what okay, I good like. stuff. I totally agree. Um, and I do agree, too, that money shouldn't be used to control. Yeah. And that's another thing in a lot of relationships and marriages is sometimes money becomes such a big issue to where um, who's making the most money becomes... A priority. Hey, I make more money than you, so I should be in control. Or um, I make more money than you, so I should be able to do this, and you shouldn't because I made the most or whatever. So you don't want to let that become an issue in marriage as well. And just being honest about the finances. Yeah, you right. know, making sure that your partner or your your spouse understands what you do need because we all, you know, both need things yeah. in the relationship. There's some things that I need, you know, and some things that he needs. And we just need to be open and honest about those things and not, you know, kind of sneak around or I ain't going to tell him about this or I'm not going to tell her about this so that it doesn't cause that confusion down the road. You know, you may get away with it for a period of time, and then eventually it may come to light. So just being honest and being open about it, 
um, discussing those issues. Yeah, transparency is very important. Yes. You should always know what your partner is doing in terms of anything. That's your partner. That's the reason why we call it a partner. That's the reason why we're married. It's a union. Right. You it's know, a team. It's a team. Right. You know, and it's important that if you are weak in the area, I'm weak in the financial area. That doesn't mean I don't bring finance to the table because part of my job for me, you know, how I feel is bringing money to the table so my wife can make sure our finances and everything that we need for the house is taken care of. I mean, everybody may not have that concept or idea in mind. Well, men, you know what I mean? Well, women in that case, you know, but that's what works for me because I know she's more stronger in that area than I am. But that does not negate the fact that I should not be a contributor to my household because when she does good, I do great, and I love that feeling. <laughs> Good stuff. So there we have it. Those are the things that we feel that you should do and that we do as a couple, as a married couple, to make sure that we kind of alleviate those financial issues within our marriage. We want to live a happy marriage, a happy life together, and we don't want finances to be that negativity in it. So.